Rory Atkins is an extraordinary situation in, at the Crows. Now, you're close to this cone, you're in Adelaide, you're living there. He's flagged that he's out basically, or looking to get out. And they, it looks like a bit of a mutual deal mid-season, which is very unusual for our game. It is. So this happened on Friday. This sort of story broke in the afternoon. Let's have a look at it here. Rory Atkins is, is on the move. He told the Crows that he will take up his unrestricted free agency rights. Now, we believe he is committed to the Gold Coast Suns, where there's a Josh Franco connection, former assistant coach at Adelaide. Tate Kaysler also was at Adelaide. So... He's 26 years of age, he's got attributes. I think he's a good fit for Gold Coast to get him for free. I was interested though, when Matthew Nix was asked about Atkins' departure today. Uh, Rory and I had had very open dialogue right throughout the season um, around a number of areas, just where we're heading, the values we have, the way we play footy. In the end, I, I, I love the way Rory goes about his footy, um, the way he's around the club. Yeah, he's given great service to his footy club. There are a number of things we, we expect of our players going forward. He was after a, a long-term deal. Um, and at this point in time, we weren't able to offer that. I did find it strange that uh, they had a chat about the values of the club in Matthew Nix's words and where they're heading as a footy club. So clearly Rory didn't fit into those, yet Matthew Nix says he loves the way Rory Atkins goes about his footy. I would much rather him be honest and just say, look, he doesn't fit into our plans. But, yeah, maybe we'll see more of that at Adelaide as well uh, as the coming weeks I, I, I think on. it's great. OK, I think it's great. I think that uh, if you're out of the plans, you need to find a new home. Instead yeah. of waiting another four weeks, get out there and do it now. And you know, I think more Matthew players Nick's should do Matthew in fairness it. is trying to yeah. defend his player and, and get him a good home, I guess, and get yeah. a good trade for him as why, well. Why would you stay? Yeah. Really. If you were 26, the team's mm. not going to contend in the next four or five years, three years. Yeah. And you've got a suitor mm. and a long-term deal. Yeah. Well, you couldn't stay. Hey, Kane, I know we've got to move on, but Brad Crouch, do you think he'll stay at the Crows or not? I don't think so. Not from what he's saying. I've got no knowledge of it. I don't want to speculate. But um, as Mark Rusciuto said, good players don't remain unsigned this late in the year. Um, so the way that he's talking, the way the club's talking. And, and once again, I won't be critical if Adelaide move on Brad Crouch. It'll probably be the best thing for the club and, and for Brad himself. This is what Rue had to say on radio. We're in a different position at the moment. We're rebuilding and we're trying to get draft picks and get younger players into our club. So players are absolutely welcome to go and look at other clubs if they're told certain things within the yep. football club. So yep. last year, as I said before, a lot of the names that have left, left on, you know, on good terms because mm. we were going in a different direction and the same thing will happen this year. I'm not sure all the ones who left last year left on good terms, Mark, but I'll... Sorry, any of them did. 